Okay, N4H and H here. That's K9OZ, Bruce, and he's operating uh, probably QRP, CW, and he's out, uh, let's see, he is in Arkansas, I believe, W5A, that's probably Arkansas. He's on a mountain, Deckard Mountain, and um, you can see band conditions today are just horrible. So here we are, 40 meters. And um, you see how, I mean, I'm barely digging him out. But let me just show you what it would be like without any help from the uh, DSP in the, in the ASU radio. And see the power line noise I'm dealing with? He's coming up now in strength a little bit. Listen to that. Now, let me... Sorry, I had uh, contour on. So there we go. Okay, now I'm going to turn everything back on. Digital noise reduction at 15. Filter width 50. Audio peak filter. Mew tuner. So using the uh, all of those combinations to just knock the noise floor down. See, there's no mew tuner. USB on his signal. Yeah, okay, widen the width a little bit to 100. We'll, we'll move the APF a little bit. Let's see if I get him any better. No, he's. He's at 703248. So band conditions bad, power line noise making it difficult today to pull out these uh, QRP stations. So fortunately we have these features available to us in these modern rigs. So again, that's what it would be like without any help. Okay, now, I just noticed a spot from another station who is, uh, who is up the band a ways. Let me, uh, let me go see if I can tune him in. He's only one state away, so this could be iffy. This would be probably uh, have a better chance on 60 meters. I know it would. One state away, 60 meters is the best band during the daytime, usually. Yeah, I'm not gonna get him. Uh, here's one out in Arizona on uh, 20 meters. 14.063. Just switched over to my doublet. Let me move it a little bit off the frequency and do a quick tune. There we 
go. For the doublet, you need a tuner, usually. It will work. 17 and 20 without the tuner, it's less than a 2 SWR, but I just like to touch it up. Let's see if we can get him in there. See, on the FTDX 5000, that's what indicates when you're uh, receiving them on frequency. In other words, I want a 600 hertz side tone, and I had to go to, one, even though he posted that he was on 14.063, I had to go to 14.062.94 to produce the 600 hertz side tone, which tells me that he's, you know, 60 hertz low in frequency. This radio has an oven-controlled uh, oscillator that maintains uh, an accuracy for the reference oscillator of uh, 0 0.05 parts per million. So if you're looking around at radios and you see TCXO, uh, those are usually going to be anywhere from 0 0.1 parts per million to even 0 0.5 parts per million. This radio is, point, is a 0 0.05 parts per million accuracy. Um, I haven't, none of the new radios that they're making are that close. Although I got to tell you, point ones, plenty. I mean, but I know um, I'm on frequency and I checked it against WWV, the uh, Institute of Standards. Now, let me see if I can work him. W, WA7. JTM. So I'm, I'll pan up and let you see what I'm doing. You'll see the, uh, the up here on the right. That's the spot screen, Soda Watch Three. It's called where where these operators post their spots. Yeah, sort of like a DX cluster, but specifically for people who hike mountains and uh, make contacts toward the uh, award called Mountain Goat. And then over here on the left is where I'm logging it on the Ham Radio Deluxe. So I've put his call sign in. I'm now gonna paste from a previous, I like to put in the comment section what summit they're on. So I'm gonna do that right now. He's on W7A, so that's Arizona. And then, uh, so for example, W7W is Washington State, W7O is Oregon. Um, let's see, so he is in CS. This is the identifier for the actual mountain, uh, CS-054. And the name of that mountain is Bur uh, Burrow Butte. Okay, Burrow Butte. So I'm going to mess around and not get him by <laughs> typing and talking. Let me see. Let me get back in, back to business. Oh, and um, um, I've got the radio at 200 watts. I do not have the amplifier turned on. And the way I've got my HRD set up, if you see here, I can press 1 for 100 watts, 2 for 200 watts, all the way up to 10 for a kilowatt. And if I happen to run a little more than that, then I just, you know, type it in. So I'm on 200 watts, and that automatically also under equipment. If you notice there at 100 and 200, it shows just the radio. Um, I don't know if you can if you can read that. Hopefully you can. And then if uh, if I go to uh, you know 300 or above, then it adds that I'm using the Elecraft KPA 1500 amplifier, which is right here. But of course, uh, not. Let me move the microphone. There it is. And it's not being used. There's my good old reliable standby Ameritron AL80B that I've had for, well, going on 22 years now. Still got the original tube. And uh, let's see. Let's get back. I think he is finished. <laughs> so I may have missed that opportunity, but hey, I'm just one of, yep. As a matter of fact, he has moved over to 5.332. 
but uh, that's okay. I won't be able to get him there. That's 60 meters during this time of the day. Him out there, you know, in Arizona, that's too far for daylight communications on 60 meters. Um, the best I've done on 60 meters during the daylight is about uh, 1,200 miles. So um, that was, and I have to say, that was actually nearing uh, the, uh, the gray line. Um, actually, like, Middle of the day, 700 miles is about the limit for uh, for 60 meters. So I, I, I won't be able to chase him right now. But uh, anyway, you get the uh, uh, the picture here, what I wanted you to see in the video. Thanks for watching, and uh, thank you, Patreons, for helping me keep the channel going. And 73 from N4 H&H. &H.